Well, good morning, everybody. Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside, 60 degrees. This is the first day I've been out here in the shop without the fan on. Before we get started, we have a little maintenance work to do. We were given this Delta 34 444 10 inch table saw. It is a lovely thing to behold, but as you can see, I have a motor sitting up here, and that's because this guy is bad. So all we've got to do is replace this, and then we're going to get to work today. But I thought you might want to go along with me while we replace it. It's not too difficult of a process, but I thought you might want to see how it's done. So let's do it. With just a few simple hand tools, let's do it. So the first thing we'll do is prop the motor up. It just makes it easier to get to everything, including these 12 millimeter nuts and the uh, power cord. So I'll just get a socket wrench, take these nuts off and pull the carriage bolts out. Then we'll take the wing nut off of the belt guard, pull the belt off and then the motor just pops right off. So a quick look at our replacement motor. It is identical to this old motor, and this is something I bought off eBay. It looks identical, the specs are identical, and it was a takeoff of the exact same saw, and it was replaced with a larger motor. So this is perfect for us, and so it looks like it should fit perfectly on our old saw. So let's do that. So the new motor goes right back in place, fits right over the same holes. Take everything, bolt it back in place, just the opposite of the way we took it off. And it's a very easy process. Oh man. Uh, and so when I took the wing nut off of the guard, I dropped it and it bounced like a ping pong ball. Now there's no telling where it is. Where are you? Nope. Really? Ah. Oh my goodness. After finally finding the lost wing nut, we get that put back on, put the belt up, put the power up, and we're ready to go. Sure. Let's see how she does. That's a little wobbly. I probably need to straighten the motor up just a little bit. Seems to be working like a charm. And with that, it looks like we are finally up and running again. Ah, now we can get back to work. Hey, thanks a lot for hanging out here with me for a few minutes. Obviously, I am not a mechanic. If you're a woodworker and not a mechanic, then maybe this will inspire you and give you a little confidence to say, hey, I can fix that myself. If you're a woodworker, you're already creative, you're already into problem solving, chances are you can probably do things like this because they really aren't that hard. I hope you enjoyed this though, and I hope you got something out of it. If you like this, please like this video. It means so much to us, and please leave us a comment. We would love to hear what you have to say. And we would love it if you subscribe to our channel and you are here to be a regular part of what we're doing, things like this, all the time. Thanks a lot, have a great day. See you next time, back to work.